Thailand Rick on tour here. We're in Bangkok and we're going to review Relief Phoenix and uh, I'll let you know what it's like. This is where I'm staying in Bangkok. I'm going to do a little review on it for you. Relief Phoenix. It's in a, quite a good location to get a taxi or a tuk-tuk to places like Soy Cowboy and other places. It's on a corner of a busy little road as you can see. Very popular area. It's Indian owned, not Thai owned. Well, this is a, a look around in the La Phoenix. I'm staying in Bangkok. It's 1400 baht a night, which is around 32 pounds a night. It includes a free cooked breakfast. Like I said, it's not one of the cheapest hotels, but it's not the dearest. Let's have a little look around. It's the bathroom.
shower. That's a big shower. It's all got air con. Let's have a look. Seems to be quite a bit of wardrobe space. There's the aircon up there. That's on there. More wardrobe space. Lights up, soon as you uh, slide the doors. So, uh, plenty of room there. In here you have lots of different items there you can buy. They stock it up well and you've got a fridge and it's all stocked with cans of drink, cans of beer and there's water there, chocolate bars, it's got a safe. It comes with a price list, let's have a look at the price list for you. This is how much the items cost if you uh, use any of them. Not a bad little service really. Standard soft drinks there, four cans, at 70 baht. Salted peanuts there, 50 baht. They've got a restaurant down there as well. This is some of the food that they do in their restaurant. laundry service as well look around the room quite a decent sized room really patio you can get a room for 300 baht a night this room is 1400 baht it's got a TV it's got some uh, Drinking glasses there. Yeah, it's okay. Let's have a look, see what views we've got out here. Wow. There's no balcony. A little look at Bangkok by night for you. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, for the money, maybe a little bit overpriced, perhaps. But it's a big size room. But it does include a buffet breakfast. Eat as much as you want in the morning. All included in the price, so 32 quid. I suppose that's too bad, really. I'm going to get fed as well. Right, that's a little look of a room. got a nice little bar area you can actually buy um, a breakfast as well and it's got uh, Wi-Fi as well that's the code if you come here it's quite a big place as well it's got a safe deposit there so you can put your money in lock it away basic but it'll do the job right that's a little look of a room for what you get for 1400 baht
check out with breakfast. That's a breakfast area, it's not bad. All inclusive breakfast, eat as much as you want. Breakfast area is on level three, that's the food area. Right, yeah, that breakfast wasn't bad. This is level eight. It's not bad, this is where I'm staying. It's quite bright and cheerful. Right, this is a little view of outside my window in daylight. You've seen what it's like at night. It's a little bit shabbier now. Look really good by uh, night. But by day, as you can see, it's not exactly a, a nice view. A little bit run down. It's just a little review on La Phoenix in Bangkok. If you're coming here and you need somewhere to stay and don't know where to go, hope this little review uh, gives you some idea if you fancy staying in this sort of area and you fancy visiting Soy Cowboy and Nana and other places. And it's a very good, convenient hotel, really. And location is uh, situated pretty good. Go down the lift now. This is a reception. It's not the Hilton, it's not a travel lodge, so uh, Bangkok price, you expect to pay more as you would do if you're staying in London. It's okay, it's somewhere to get your head down for the night to get you to the locations where you want to go. So if I was in this area again, in Bangkok, would I stay here? Yes I would.
hope you like this uh, little review of a Lee Phoenix in Bangkok. Somewhere to stay for the night. If you want to go out on the town. Anyway, if you like the review, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments on it, put them in the comment section. I'll see if I can answer them for you. It's not a bad little hotel. Like I say, decent breakfast in there. All inclusive. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Smash that black bell so you get free notifications through to your phone as soon as I put a video up. And I hope this has been a help to you if it's first time coming to Thailand or you've been to Thailand before and you fancy visiting Bangkok. It's not a bad little hotel. It does what it needs to do, give you somewhere to sleep for the night. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Thailand Rick saying bye for now and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.